So, this is the first time that I've ever used this DJI Pocket 2. So I thought I would try it out whilst I was on a walk um, that I do quite often uh, with my trusty steed, Coco. Here she is. It's quite a nice wee walk, as you can see. And usually there are very little people on the walk. But today, because I want to try out this camera, it's busy. So I look like a bit of a plonker walking along, talking to a camera. However, we won't let that worry us too much. So far I find it really easy to use. Um, I'll check out the quality of the video when I get home. But uh, there's lots of positive things, it's very light. Uh, it can shoot at 4K 60 frames per second and I'm enjoying using it. There are many, many YouTube videos on how to use it, so I'm not going to bore you with that. Simply to say that if you're looking for something that will fit in your pocket and will allow you to do uh, vlogging such as this, or indeed live streaming, then this is pretty good. I think that uh, the gimbal itself is pretty stable and if I just flip the camera around then you can see that it gives you a good wide angle shot of most of your surroundings now if that's not enough of a wide angle then there is an attachment that comes with the DJI Pocket 2 and you just click it onto the lens, it's an, a magnetic lens and that increases the focal length or rather the width you get more of a wide angled lens a wide angle shot and that comes uh, with the DJI Pocket 2 there are lots of settings in it that if you want to do some post editing that you can change and allow you to tweak your video but right now I've just set it to auto um, I just want to test exactly what it looks like I have ordered the extension handle for it so that it gives me a wee bit more of a, a range of a longer uh, view from myself and uh, allows me to do some more cinematic shots it will do time lapses it will do hyper lapses that will do follow me modes uh, you name it and it's a pretty good camera and as I say for the size of it yeah, you should check it out on YouTube it pretty much fits in my pocket when I'm out walking the dog it comes with its own uh, carry case which protects it uh, whilst out walking and right now I've got it on the I've got it on the follow me mode or first person view rather uh, if I change that um, and put it on to uh, another mode and there's the gimbal locked so if I do this there we see Coco if I can film her correctly hiya and it's uh, all round it's pr pretty good you also get a joystick that, um, that I'm pressing just now and it would allow me to zoom in or indeed zoom back out again so all in all pretty functional pretty easy to use um, takes a standard SD card I think it's up to 256 I'm using a 128 here uh, a SanDisk SD Extreme Plus uh, and I find them to be the most reliable DJI I find to be a pretty good uh, make I have the DJI Mini 2 and I quite enjoy using that as well so 
Uh, we'll try the follow mode and see how that gets on. We'll try following uh, Coco, see how that works. So I'm still struggling how to actually work the camera. So we're going to abandon that due to user error and me not being able to figure out how to actually do it. So I need to read up a wee bit more on that. Yeah. Coco's obviously spotted something. Coco, let's go home. Come on, let's go home. So we're just going to head back home now. It's quite an overcast day. Cold. Typical Scottish uh, weather. Now we should be able to do the tilt locked. Should allow me to do a sort of one of these cinematic rising shots that you see. I'm also interested to see how the microphone works without attaching the remote microphone which comes with the um, creator pack or the more pack. Can't remember what it's called. But it's a pretty cool wee microphone, I just didn't bring it out today with me. I thought uh, we would try it just with... Just with the internal microphone, so it'll be interesting when I get home to see how that actually uh, has worked. So all in all, the first test of this wee camera, without any editing, I'll 